Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how I made this super functional work holding waste board for the Stepcraft D840. Definitely stick around to see how we made it. The plans to make your own work holding waste board just like this are available on our website, so you can definitely check those out. It's just item number WBP. These are sized out to fit the Stepcraft D840, but can be resized to fit whatever size machine that you would like. So I'm just starting out with a sheet of three quarter inch MDF sized out to fit the machine. I've got it screwed to a supplementary waste board around where I'm going to be drilling some holes. So I use the 46202-K quarter inch down cut bit to set those holes around the design to make sure that I wouldn't run into anything. This waste board uses quarter 20 T nuts to hold everything down. There are a total of 261 pockets created here. These are the pockets for the T nut heads to sit into. And uh, you can see all of those getting cut out there. So you can see they fit in really nicely just underneath the lip there. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Go ahead and hit that bell so that you'll be notified on all of the new videos when they're released. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Tools Today. I use the down cut action there to leave a nice clean top surface. This is a quarter inch up cut bit and that will do a much better job clearing out the chips. The MDF likes to gum things up really bad so that definitely helps clear everything out and get all of the holes nice and clean on the what will be the top side. So we got all those cut and then we can get it all vacuumed off and then get the waste board unscrewed from the supplementary waste board. So now all of that is done and we can get all the T-nuts installed. So basically all of these need to be hammered in. You wanna make sure that you're hammering them in below the surface of the material. That way they won't affect the alignment or anything like that. So there's definitely a lot to hammer in there, but after all of that is done, we can move back to the CNC and remove that supplementary waste board as we won't need that any longer. We wanna make sure that everything is nice and clean underneath the waste board that way there's no uh, it's not going to mess with when we go to flatten anything or get anything else cut so we can get that reinstalled and then i'm going to use the 55227 no more countersink set extremely deep uh, to get a really nice deep countersink and you can see just how deep that goes uh, that will allow the screw head to sit well below the surface and it will allow me to flatten the waste board without worrying about running into screws so we can get that all vacuumed off again after being secured down and secure down our second piece of MDF. This is what we will cut the fence from. So I'm just screwing it down into place where I know it won't be affected by the design. And then using the same quarter inch up cut bit, we'll get all of the fence holes cut since that's already in there. One of the biggest benefits of the upcut bit is that it leaves a perfectly clean bottom. So you can see that there's a nice through hole and you can see the T-nut in there. So we'll switch back out for the 46202-K. And unfortunately, I tried to get fancy with the editing there and messed up my Z0 position. So I ended up making a mistake here um, and I had to reset the Z0 and get everything set correctly. So we're gonna go ahead and cut the uh, pockets in for where the bolt and washer will sit through to hold the fence to the wasteboard. So after that's cut, I'm gonna remove it one more time to vacuum off anything underneath before we cut the actual fence piece. So that's all now clean. And then we can just use the quarter 20 bolt to install it onto the wasteboard. So I didn't use a washer here because I hadn't flattened yet. Uh, this is fixed in the actual design files. Uh, it was a little bit too thin, so even if you didn't want to flatten the wasteboard, um, that is uh, fixed in there. So using the 46202-K, we cut the actual fence part. There's a little bit that's outside of the cutting area, so I just used a multi-tool to cut that flush. We'll deal with that here in just a little bit. So we can get that waste piece removed, and you can see that the fence is perfectly square. So this is something that you could do before installing the wasteboard, but basically I'm going to be cutting the cam clamps for it. I'll do that using the same quarter inch down cut bit and a piece of three quarter inch Baltic birch plywood. So basically it's going through making a pocket and then making a through hole and we will cut out the cam clamp design. This design is also all included in the plans as well. Uh, so you have everything that you need. This is gonna illustrate why we need to flatten a waste board. Uh, so I can get that pulled up and you can see the results here. So you can see that it went through all the way on some of them, but not on that top one. So it means that the waste board is not perfectly flat. Uh, all of these were set to the exact same depth of cut. So it uh, definitely causes a little bit of an issue there. I'll use the multi-tool to cut through the tabs and free them from the larger piece. And then moving over to the router table, I'll use the MR0110 mini roundover bit 
to flush trim those tabs and add a little bit of a round over here just to make that a little more comfortable. So I don't touch the face that will actually touch the piece, just the parts that I will be touching. I wanna make sure that that remains square. And we can get that bolted to the waste board and you can see how that works. So this is just a quick demo showing that and uh, how it holds a workpiece and it's super secure and really easy to use. I wanted to demonstrate why flattening is important in this, so I did create a little bit more work for myself that's not fully necessary, but uh, anyway, so we're gonna flatten it now. So I'm taking the fence back off and using the RC-2265 quarter inch shank three wing flattening bit. This is an insert carbide bit and leaves a extremely clean cut. So I demonstrated this too. You're probably gonna want a dust boot for it as well. Um, but anyways, you can see quite the mess that it created. So I went ahead and installed a dust boot and then I'm just using a Sharpie to designate where it's already been flattened. Uh, it helps as a visual to see that. So once everything is nice and flat, there's very little dust left with the dust boot on there and you can see just how flat that is. There are some lines created in there, but they are not ridges. Those are just lines like mowing the grass going back and forth from uh, climb to conventional cutting. So you can see that little piece that's left over there. We're gonna take that off and deal with that on the table saw. It's not absolutely necessary, uh, just something that I wanted to do to clean things up. So I'm just cutting that all flush, and then now the fence will overhang that just a little bit. So I'm gonna cut the fence flush as well. So I just got that bolted down, and then uh, you can see everything's nice and flush there. Something I've always wanted to do on waste boards is paint that front face black because it becomes a highlight spot. So I went ahead and did that here. That way that's not an issue when filming. So I can get that put back down. I removed the fence again and screwed all of the screws in underneath the fence, installed the fence again, and we're ready to go. I made sure everything was nice and square and it definitely still is to the gantry. So you can see how this functions. It's an extremely useful setup. Uh, basically these can be positioned anywhere that you want. You may need to use a little bit of a scrap piece there just to make up any space, but it's really easy to swap pieces in and out of. It's a great work holding system and I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We will catch you guys back out here on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Stay safe out there.